All right, we're back. Okay, just about made a disaster out of that. What are we doing today, kids? Oh man, that's how cold it is out here. My thermometer needs a new, a new battery. Well, today's Thanksgiving, kids. So what are we doing? We're gonna do some work because everybody else is online looking at Black Friday deals. Now that was Shell, she's going to work. Because around here, if I don't do it, it doesn't get done. So what are we doing today? We gotta move a dirt pile. And normally I'd use a skid loader, move this dirt pile at about, ooh, four seconds. But I don't have a skid loader sitting here real handy right now. So that dirt pile there has gotta be dealt with today. Yeah, it's already partially frozen. Right, check out the progress. Little extension of the old yard. I ramped it because it's gonna settle. I did all that with just a dump trailer. So let's see what we can do here. Where can I put this to make it interesting? A little tree, a little tree action there. Shorten this couple of these legs up so it doesn't fall over on me. Sorry about the shaky camera. I'm going to be put it right there. What do you think? Is that going to be filming? It's getting... Yeah, well, I don't know if that's going to be good or not. I think it's going to be what it is. So I got a low spot there. So. I'm going to do it like this. Frozen. I don't know if it didn't get just to think about what you were doing at 8 30 on thanksgiving this is what i'm doing when i backed this in i thought i was farther back when i dumped it it didn't roll and then when i pulled forward it just never ends Get your blood pumping. You can fill it back that way now.
was big chunks. This was the kind of the trash dirt. A lot of that flooded out area is hardened into these big chunks of dry. Garbage. Not super great for backfilling around foundation, so that's what most of this is, is just all that trash dirt. We got plenty, plenty of dirt up there, so use the good stuff. That's important. So switch hands you don't get tired hand, tired arms that's important too god it's got like 20 degrees out here it's cold boulders don't need boulders over the edge with you It's hard. So basically what I'm doing, I'm trying to lay this out. I don't have any way to pack it, so it's going to have to just settle on its own. That's why I've ramped it up. Yeah, we've got a little bit farther to go. Pick up 20 foot a yard. It's easy for parking. Good times. Good times. If I try to get the skid loader back here, I'll be able to move it around, pack it a little bit better. I'm gonna look up for me now, that's hard stuff here. Of course, I think it's going to hold water. I don't know what to do about that. That's out of my control. Might have some poor drainage for a season. I really don't know what to do about it. I'm definitely not going to. I'm definitely not going to shovel that much dirt. That ain't going to happen. <laughs> It used to kind of just drain out there, but we'll get it figured out. We'll get her. Give us a sod there. Pretty close. I want it. I want a ramp so it'll settle, that's for sure. Eventually it'll slow down, it's just... This has all just been loose laid, so it's going to definitely settle out. I know that for a fact. And there's nothing ever going to get built on here. This is just be yard, parking area, walking, croquet, you know, the important things. It's like one of the few spots on the property that's actually flat. Everything else is like a hill which is fun for sweating I guess you hear that I think we just about got her alright how long did that take 10 minutes exactly perfect Perfection. All right, so eventually, I actually want to take 
I want to take it out a little bit longer because my, my property line is clear down there along that fence. So I can come out a couple more feet along there. What I'd like to do, obviously this tree is going to go away. I'd love to be able to park two trailers side by side right here. That way, that'd be, that'd be great. These trees, I should have cut them out, but the problem I've got is that one's gonna hit the building, so I gotta have either a professional or I gotta get a hoist. And then that one, I didn't get dropped because uh, I started building a house, so yeah, it'll get dropped eventually. This one here, that may just stay, I don't know, or it might die. I just, I'm so sick of cutting trees down. But. I did all this in the dark last night. I couldn't even see anything. We still got a couple feet over here that I can go. Basically the yard goes to the edge of that tree there. So I've got a line. In case my neighbors are getting nervous. That dirt's getting close to my yard there, son. So hard to dump the dirt against the trees. All right, hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Stay safe.